What's up guys? Today we're in the new part of our showroom. I'm so, so excited. I don't know if I've ever been more excited to review a product. That's because we're adding a new division to our showroom here. You can see we've expanded our showroom. Check this out. They just blasted this open the other day. So this goes into our main part of our showroom. We're expanding our showroom. Now we're gonna be pushing 9,000 square feet the size of our showroom. Awesome, awesome stuff. So we just brought in some Kamado Joes. Uh, but this is gonna be our outdoor area. And part of our expansion is we bring in a whole new division. Not a division, a new product category. And it's something near and dear to my heart. And it's something that I love. And that's what we do here at Embers. Everything we sell, we have a passion about. And uh, one of my biggest passions is golf. It's one of my absolute most favorite things to do. And we're gonna be carrying or gonna be a fitting station for PXG Golf Clubs, which is one of my favorite brands of golf clubs. In order to be a fitting station, what do you need? You need a, simulator. a simulator. You need a place to hit golf balls. So part of our new outdoor showroom, we're gonna have a full simulator set up, and then we're also gonna have a big putting green over here as well. It's gonna be awesome, so awesome. But we thought since we're in the business of unboxing and reviewing products, why not unbox and review a simulator, right? All right, let's get started. So a little side note on the showroom. We gotta change out the lighting in here. This was like more warehouse lighting. We gotta finish the floors so they kind of match our showroom floors. From here down, we're gonna have like some cool Kamado section, gas grill, outdoor kitchens are gonna be out here, fire pits, probably some games. This is gonna be the fun side of the store. So let's talk simulators. When it came to simulators, of course I did my research to figure out which one I wanted. I essentially had narrowed it down to two brands. Uh, Foresight Sports, which uses uh, like GC Quad. They have a new GC3, which is supposedly really great for, um, you know, just residential, where you don't need all the data that is shown. And then they have the, uh, the big overhead guy, which I forgot what that one's called, but that guy was just so expensive and I thought it was a little overkill for in here. So this one, this package I got was called their Eagle package which is all in one simulator in a box. So the idea behind the sim in a box is you get absolutely everything. You get uh, the turf, you get a hitting mat, computer, cart, projector, projector screen, curtains, like you get everything you need to get this set up. And talking with the sales guys there, um, I was trying to decide if we were gonna go, couldn't decide if I should like piece it out myself he was telling me that the value you get is you end up saving like a couple grand versus buying this all a cart. And so that's why we did it. For example, uh, just the software to uh, play all the different licensed courses like Pebble Beach, Spyglass Hill, there's a bunch more. It's like 200 bucks per course um, if you buy the courses individually. So when you buy this package, it comes preloaded. Also includes all the licenses for the golf course pre-installed on the computer, which is pretty cool. So this looks like our inner side panels left to right. I think these are our side curtains, I'm pretty sure. So here's our, our curtains. Securing strips looks like pieces of Velcro. <sighs> Let's see what's in our accessory box. By the way, if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom. Even if you don't buy anything, guess what? You get to hit golf balls in a simulator and you'll get to see some really, really awesome outdoor kitchens. So this is, this is gonna be like our Primo section. We have a brand called Primo. I don't mean Primo like the brand. I mean like the Primo section of the showroom for outdoor. All of the high end, wow. high dollar stuff. Um, Money. Maybe even looking at a possible liquor license. Not really sure yet. We're trying to decide that. Uh, let's see here. This just looks like a bunch of hardware. Power strip. Man, they even give you a power strip. That's pretty cool. So this is like just a miscellaneous power accessories. I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do, my, my game plan is, is just get everything laid out and then start piecing it together from there. Here's a projector. I think this is our computer. I don't know what that is. Huh, cable snake. No idea what we're gonna use that for. This is what I'm talking about. 
It's our turf back mesh screen, okay. Hitting screen, so this is what the projector is gonna shine on. It's starting to look intimidating, there's a lot of stuff. The salesman told me that this is an easy peasy two hour project. We'll see, Mr. Salesman, we'll see. Okay, so this looks like an actual hitting mat. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I don't know what, that's, what that is, but it's heavy. Okay, so there's a lot of crap in here. Got all of our posts. Uh, this is basically all of our curtains and projector screens. This is something with our hitting mats, although these two boxes are two of the heaviest boxes I've picked up. Our turf, and then I think this is our electronics. What's missing, Chris? The golf clubs. Good point, but I don't have, there's no instructions. So this box is kind of generic. I'm wondering if there's like a hodgepodge of stuff in here that can help us out. Oh baby, this isn't the generic box. This is this is the the piece of equipment that makes this thing run. This is what makes this this is the key piece. This is actually the most expensive piece in here. The GC quad. So another reason I went with the GC quad was that it's mobile versus the one that uh, you know mounts above your head. Um, you can actually take this out and onto the driving range, indoor, outdoor, and do readings on it. I mean, calm down, I'm not a pro golfer. I'm not, it's not gonna be taking this out on the range. I might, I might take it out on the range. Let's put that back in here, keep this protected. So this box on the side of it has our username, our activation code, and all of that. So my guess this is, is our computer. That's my guess. So here's our computer. Looks pretty basic. Just your run of the mill projector. So we'll get this just set off to the side with all of our other electronics for now. This looks like our actual hitting mat. I'm very curious what's in these boxes because this thing is very heavy. These must go underneath our hitting mat. I about got everything unboxed and I'll tell you this, I don't have a single instruction sheet. Wait a second. I don't know what this is. Maybe there's some instructions in here with our power cord. We must have to look it up online. All right, didn't come with any instructions, but thankfully I used my head and I found some on the internet. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, it's not that easy to set up. It's a full day job and we have a really big space. So if this, you're doing this like in your basement or something, I would pay to have them do it because I wouldn't want to mess with this, especially in a tight spot. All right, so we're setting up all the curtains and everything. That's gonna be way too long a video if we go through step by step. We'll just turn on the time lapse. You guys can watch us put it together. All right, so that part is done. Actually went together pretty easy. Now we're gonna put it where it goes. Um, my original plan was to have it tight in this corner, but I think it's gonna be wise to stay off of this wall a little bit so that we can extend a curtain or something here. Uh, just in case you tow one or something, you know, after a few cocktails, you know, not that you're gonna be playing golf after a couple drinks, but maybe you will. But uh, I'm gonna keep it off the wall a little bit, get it tied up against this back wall, because it looks like they're giving us space back here for our tarp, our hitting tarp. And then it's time to put the turf in. All right, guys, we got it set up. Now it's time to set up the software and try to get the projector on. This thing was a pain in the neck, because all this is Velcro and it's like super sticky. It all sticks together. It's annoying. We laid out the carpet. I would say the carpet's not the best because you have a seam here. Um, we're definitely gonna be upgrading the flooring because um, it doesn't really fill the space. Same with the hitting mat. I'm sure after a while it's gonna go down, but I don't know. The turf is not my favorite, but this all seems very nice. And again, you could extend your curtains out if you wanted to pretty far, but this should dampen it. Now, before we set up the software, 
I thought we should at least hit one, right? Yeah. So check this out. We got these balls made for our simulator. Some Pro V1s. There it is. So let's just give one a shot before we mess with the software. I just can't help myself. I'm just gonna have to. This is not my set, by the way, but I'm just kind of curious how this mat works before we hook it up. A little 56 degree, just nice and easy. It worked. We did it. All right, let's set up the software and do one for real. All right, so we got the software opened up. I logged in. Looks like everything's already activated. It says connect device to start. So now this is where the magic happens. This is gonna be the GC quad, baby. Let's turn this bad boy on. See if we can get it to sync here. Try to pair this, pair this thing. All right, I think we gotta plug this into the computer. There we go, GC quad, baby. Connect. All right, so we got this totally set up. You see, I changed my clothes. That's because it's the next day. Kind of took us all day. Definitely plan on a full day setup if you're doing this. A couple things real quick. Um, we got the projector set up, the computer, uh, the monitor, which we're not using, the keyboard, the cart. Now, they weren't lying. This is a sim in a box. Absolutely everything you need to fire this up and play is set up. Um, my one suggestion is, is in all the demos and everything, this is in an open room. We're against a wall here. Check this out. I was messing with it a little bit before we turned the camera on. Get a close up of that, Chris. Look at that. Perfect golf ball dimple. That was like my second shot. I don't know if I was nervous or what happened, but um, we still got to play with the uh, projector a little bit. I was nervous because this is a bright showroom that the projector would not be bright enough. I think you can see it just fine, don't you, Chris? But anyways, this projector is plenty bright, which is super sweet. Got the GC quad set up. We have it plugged in right now, but you can unplug it, take it to the range. It runs on a battery. Super cool. All right, so I thought to demo this. This is the third hole at Spyglass Hill. Spyglass Hill is one of my favorite golf courses. They say the first four holes are like the best holes in golf. Other courses I've played, it's hard to argue that. This is the third hole. So you can see we're looking all out at the ocean. It's in the Monterey Peninsula. Downhill, 126 yards, it says. Only one way to find out if this simulator is any good and if it's worth the money. If I can get a hole in one, let's see. Buck 26, we can get the right club for that. All right. Oh, that felt good. That is all over it, uh, a little left. Come on. Oh, deep, deep. Too much club, I didn't account for the downhill. So what's pretty cool is you can kind of just toggle through this and then move on to your next shot. Okay, so I skipped the hole six after hole three because I wanted to show you guys one of my favorite things about Spyglass Hill is like the first four or five holes are on the water. But once you get into hole six, look at this. We're going up into the woods. So at Spyglass, you're up in the forest. It's a little quieter, more serene versus Pebble Beach is, you know, you're right on the water. I tend to like Spyglass a little bit better. So here's what's cool about this mat too. Obviously it's super functional because tees work. So let's hit a driver and see what we can do as we go up into the woods here. Oh yeah. Pushed it a little bit. 250 with a little bit of a pull. Not too bad. Anyways, so far, I don't wanna bore you guys with a whole round of golf. This is pretty awesome. This holds tees, you can hit driver off the deck or off a tee. This mat seems to be holding up pretty well. Of course, we've hit like what, 10 shots on it. So, so far, my initial impression is it's pretty stinking awesome. I don't think, I think there's two brands out there that are gonna give you like a full simulator experience. GC Quad or Foresight Sports is one of them. Trackman's another one. I decided to go with this because the Trackman system was considerably more seemed like almost double the price. And this is plenty good for us amateurs. I'm an amateur golfer, obviously. Um, but more importantly, it's gonna give us the data we need if you wanna come down here and get fitted with some PXG clubs. 
um, which we are a fitting station for if you want to come down and check it out. We have more videos coming on how to get fitted or schedule a fitting with PXG. And also we're going to start breaking down their clubs and doing product reviews on the entire PXG line as part of our outdoor showroom. How cool is that? Don't forget, if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom today. Check out these products for yourself. See you next time.